better lock for your bike. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin, and we are happy to have with us once again the founder and CEO of Benji Lock, Robbie Cabral. Hi, Robbie. Hey, Fred. How are you? Doing well. It's been, I think, almost five years now since your appearance on Shark Tank with uh, your hybrid fingerprint lock. You got a deal with Kevin O'Leary, for those who remember. And since then, you've sure been busy. Yep, yep. Since then, uh, first of all, it's it's an honor to be with you again. Uh, you've been following my journey since the beginning. And I remember uh, going on your show when it was literally uh, kind of like a prototype at the time. Uh, and now, finally, uh, after the Shark Tank and the partnership with Hampton Products, we were able to launch the original Benji Lock with fingerprint and key. And then within time, we've been able to kind of create a whole portfolio of products, uh, including now the brand new one, uh, the bike lock, Benji Lock fingerprint bike lock. And you've got some great features here. So let's talk about them. What, what sets this lock apart for cyclists? Or it can be casual riders, too, who... You want to go somewhere. You don't want to leave your bike uh, unlocked, un unattended. So tell us about the features. Yeah, so it's a very interesting. So the lock itself, um, I'll show it to you. Here it is. So the lock itself, it's uh, very uh, sturdy. So it's uh, 18,000 pounds of cut resistance. Um, it's a matte black finish. Um, and the same technology as the, as, the, as the original lock. So it's fingerprint. So you can open it just with your fingerprint. Easy as that, but then also a uh, traditional key at the bottom. So the technology is still very simple. Um, no app needed, no phone needed. Um, but the beauty of it is that uh, a lot of people came to CES at the time. And I remember they were always telling me, hey, I would love to see the technology in this and that. And one of the mentions that they always brought in was, I would like the technology in a bike lock, you know, because I'm always on a mountain bike and all that. And I think during the COVID time, uh, because we were all stuck at home to, during the height of the pandemic, a lot of us were riding our bikes. And even if you go to your local Target and Walmart, all the bikes were sold out because everyone was out and about. And that's when kind of like the light sparked up again and said, you know what, this is the time to focus on that product itself. So we did. And we finally kind of unveiled it at CES this uh, past January. Uh, and the reception has been great. Uh, it's a great product for, you know, whether you're commuting on the go or, going to school or going for a quick bike right near your house. Uh, you know, it's a great asset to your bike. So uh, I'm very proud of it. And when you're designing a bike lock, I think you, you probably have to use different kinds of materials. Like you said, to, to prevent theft, uh, even more so than with, with the padlocks that you have. Correct, correct. So it's actually uh, made of a U-shackle. So the same U-shackle of the lock is a stainless steel uh, U-shackle. Um, and then the same technology is all embedded inside here. Um, but as you can see, probably by the sample I send you, it's very heavy, very sturdy. Um, a lot of the users as of late, uh, we've been getting great feedback of the product. Uh, they've been using it's a weather resistant too with IP65. So rain, shine and all that still works. Um, and the beauty of it too, is that you also have a cover. So regardless of where you're at and all that, it, your fingerprint sensor is always going to be covered by it. You only have to like basically slice it to the, let's see, left or right. Uh, there you go. And then charging by micro USB-C as well. So it's actually our first interaction of the Benji lock line charging with a USB-C. So uh, way faster. That's for sure. <laughs> well, tell us, tell us about that. How long does the charge last on this? What should people expect? So basically six months up to a year, the same as, as the other products. Um, in the end, it's all about how many times you use it. So for example, I've been using mine two times a day and so far eight months into it and it's still going. Um, and the same technology will let you know that, hey, I need a little charge. It'll kind of blink you red. Like you need to kind of plug me in, but he won't die right away. So he'll keep working until finally it's, you know, off. But in this day and age, because we're always charging and all that, you get so accustomed that every time you have a product or gadget, you always kind of wanted to charge it. So if you're that type of person, then you won't have an issue at all. And not having to worry about a, a key is a pretty big deal for cyclists, I think. Uh, but having one as a backup is a good idea, some peace of mind, I guess. Yep, yep. And, and that's always been kind of like the key of, of 
of Benji Lock that you have your fingerprint, but you also have a backup, whether it's a combination code or a key. Uh, and the same interaction, we did it with the door lock too. We added a fingerprint, a backup code, and also a key. Um, and that really was another product that we kind of worked throughout the whole COVID era too, because a lot of people were at home and all that. And I can see the fruition of both of them. Uh, even the bike lock, like to this day, I've been seeing now people using it and all that. Uh, they attach it to their bike or they have it in their backpack. Um, I mean, it's a great product if, you know, college students, people going to work for a quick, you know, jolt outside. So um, I'm proud of it. And you can share this as well, right? I mean, the, you, you can uh, enroll multiple fingers on this, multiple fingerprints. Correct, correct. So the bike lock itself, you can store up to 10 fingerprints. Uh, so let's say you're a family of four or five and you want to have, you know, access to as the main user, let's say myself, I add myself on it. I can also add my multiple family members to it and we all can use it at the same time. So, um, so far it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been solid. So how difficult, uh, you talked about COVID a couple of times, how difficult has, COVID and, and, and the subsequent supply chain issues. How tough has that been? Well, it's been very tough. And I, and I can probably speak for not only myself, but every other company, small business, startup, even manufacturers that uh, we all been hit very hard. Uh, you know, CES 2020 was our kind of like our last trade show and it was a great show. And then two months into it, when COVID hit, all the retail partnerships that we were working with, uh, future iterations of the product, everything kind of got on hold uh, or put away. And then trade shows as well, they kind of went downhill. So basically we were kind of stuck two years in a digital world, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But then also uh, I'm a big fan of the live interaction. And I like seeing when consumers or retail partners or, you know, whoever you meet, they're able to actually feel the product, uh, tell you feedback because it's way better than myself just showing it to you on camera instead of you actually testing it, trying it, uh, get the feel of it. Uh, give me your feedback on, on, on what do you see that you like, you don't like, maybe what you can see in the future, all that kind of really, I'm a big fan of that, of that live interaction with, with product and consumers. And so we lost that uh, for a bit, but, you know, hopefully now we're getting back on track. You know, we did CES uh, in January it was a bit smaller, but uh, it, it's a, it's a start of the beginning. And, uh, and actually I had a chance to go on CES on the Hill, uh, two weeks ago in DC and it was a live event. Everyone was back vaccinated and all that. And it was only for members of Congress. So they can actually see the new technology and all that from companies like Peloton, Meta, Amazon. I mean, you name it. Uh, so I was blessed to be in that small group of brands and, and got great feedback from everyone with the product. So, um, you know, little by little, we're getting back on track, but I won't lie to you. The past two years were very hard on, on everything from manufacturing sales um, and all that. Well, you've been through tough times uh, before, even just prior to this company, I suppose. And you really seek to inspire others. That's one of the things I really admire about you, Robbie. Yeah, no, no. Likewise, I mean, you know, uh, the goal is that, you know, I'm a believer that if you're passionate about something, you know, just go for it. And, and, you know, the day that my passion for Benji lock as a whole dies out, that's when I say, you know what, I think I can step out and, and be happy with what I, with what I accomplished, but I like innovating. I, I like creating products, gadgets, and all that. And I feel like the technology is still coming. Uh, one of the exciting things that I can share with you is that, uh, we have some new IP now that you're able to unlock your Benji Lock technology with your voice, your palm, um, vision, uh, you name it. So we're working on different ways of the technology that not only you can open it with your fingerprint or key, but as the future goes, you know, my kids are always at home and they're like, hey, Alexa, open this. Hey, Alexa, open that or play me this, play me that. Uh, so now I can kind of imagine like maybe someone would say, hey, Benji Lock unlock this or open this or so let's see how the future goes but i'm very excited for that that sounds interesting so yeah. the lineup today uh, besides the the bike lock you've got uh, you, let's go through the lineup a little bit what you have out there yeah so we have actually the original 
uh, Benji lock, which comes in four colors, white, matte black, navy, gray, is your fingerprint, but also key. Uh, then we have the new one as well, the sport lock, which comes in three colors. It's more for the outdoorsy person than maybe someone wants to do yoga outside and has to secure their backpack or going to school. This is a great product for it. Um, then you have the bike lock, which we just launched, and also the door lock itself uh, for the home. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, one of my, actually my favorite products is actually the travel lock. Um, because this product not only is TSA approved, so it's travel sentry approved, so you can travel over 30 countries and be protected that if someone has to check on your luggage, they won't have to cut the, the, the lock. And I get so many stories of people saying, I got my cut lock, you know, and all that because it wasn't a TSA approved. So I'm actually, this is one of the products that I'm very proud of. Uh, to this day, I still use it every time I travel. And let's see how the future goes with this one. But it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Well, congratulations on, on all of the innovation. And it sounds like there's a lot, a lot more fun to come. For more info, the website is benjilock.com. Robbie Cabral, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate it.